Today on Technically Speaking, we're going to be looking at how to go online with the Howtech software and how to set it up to view whatever you want to view. So to start with, we first have to go online. To do that, we can either click here on the connect disconnect button, we can go to file, connect, or simply press F5. Once we're online with the software, you'll see that there's actually nothing to view yet. We can't see anything. That's because we haven't yet set up the pages that we actually want to view. So the easiest way to do that is go to view and load page. Now what this brings up is some selected pages that Howtech has already designed. So I'm going to load in the fuel page. And you can see now I've got my fuel map here. I've got a few gauges, some critical engine information. Now I can load some other displays here as well by either going view load page or alternatively I can right click on the tabs here and I can load a page. So I might also want to load the diagnostics page and any other pages that Howtech has set up. I can toggle between these pages quite simply. Now I can also design my own page by right clicking and saying create new page. Call it whatever I like, I'm going to call this Matt's, Matt's custom page. And now I'm starting with a blank canvas to design the software to look however I want it to look. So all I have to do to start adding gauges is right click and I can add 2D view, I can add 3D view, which is great for looking at maps. I can add bar gauges, dial gauges, things like tacos, temperatures, lights, warning lights, list displays, so on and so forth. The text view here is probably one of the more common views for viewing fuel map, ignition map, settings and those sorts of things. Now to actually select what channels you want to view in each of these new views, you right click and select channel. I might want to look at air temperature. So I start typing air temperature. I look here, I go to calibrated inputs, air temperature sensors, and that's going to display my air temperature. What I also might want to do with something like a temperature is put in a number display. I can resize that put it underneath my bar gauge there, select air temperature, and now I've got a nice visual representation and the actual number itself. I can go ahead and do this for all of my different gauges that I've put in there, select RPM, Any different gauge that you put in here, you can select any of the available channels to view. In fact, that's all we've done with these pages here. We've created these views and opened up channels that we think are going to be good for you to view. So there you go, a very simple way of setting up the software to look however you want it to look. Now one particularly useful part of the software here is the, the rolling strip graph feature. What I've got here is I've got the actual air fuel ratio versus our target air fuel ratio. Now this can be really, really good for tuning. Now the way I've set this up is I've simply right clicked and I've set a trace view. In the trace view, I've right clicked and selected channels and I've selected my target AFR as one channel and I've selected my a wideband O2 sensor is another channel. I click OK and you can see here it comes up in red and blue. The blue is not very easy to see so I can change that color simply by right clicking and going to properties. And in properties here I can change the color just by right clicking, change the blue to white, OK. And there you have it, I have a rolling strip graph of my actual air fuel ratio versus my target air fuel ratio. You can do this for any two settings in the software, but I find it particularly useful when tuning. 
One of the other nice features about this software is we can actually create shortcut keys to any of the pages that you create. Even if you create it yourself, you can create a shortcut key. Simply enable that and say Control Shift. Oh, I'm going to put M for Matt. Now, if I press, if I'm in a different page here, say I'm in the fuel page and I press Control Shift M, it will automatically take me to my custom page there. Well, there you have it. A little bit about how to go online with the software and how to set up the pages to look however you want them to look. Hopefully this has given you enough information to go ahead and make the Howtech software look just how you want it to look.